Hey guys, today we're going to review a USB microphone that you can use for podcasting, online gaming, recording videos online, things like that. As with all my reviews guys, this video is not sponsored. I know you can see it behind me, it's just there, so I've already opened it. And I'm no Steven Spielberg, so let's see what's in the box that I've already opened. So this is the Pseudotac ST900. Pop filter, always good. So we have an arm. Now I've learned my lesson on this. Gotta be careful with these springs. Bit smaller than the, the more high-end stuff. Looks decent enough. We'll do the job. It's a long USB cable. Looks like that's interesting. Haven't seen one of these for a while. I remember these when they came in uh, like printers and stuff. Oh, and this is the actual microphone. Okay, that's quite good actually. I like the size of this because uh, some desks are quite quite thick. So th this has got a nice um, yeah nice size to it. Cool. It's got a nice um, shock mount again. Always, always good. Can't have enough of those. And this is the actual USB microphone. Feels really nice. It's got a nice, nice weight to it. Well, that's why the USB cable doesn't ride. Feels really good. Feels really nice, nicely built. So that's what you get in the box. Now let's put it together. Before we continue, let me explain that I'm no audiophile. I do like to ensure that my sound is good, is as good as I am able to afford it. I do try to learn how sound recording works, but mostly, I'll be honest with you, I'm a beginner and I'm still relying a lot on the technology because I'm still learning. So if you've seen my other videos, you will know that my room, this room here, is just my office room. There's nothing special about it, no special sound treatment, actually I lie. I have some of these foams around. Let me find one. I dot them around the room, but the more I record videos, I realize that actually <laughs> they don't make a lot of difference. There's plenty of advice online that confirm that I basically have to cover the entire room and ceiling with this foam for it to be really effective. So I, I put them here just in case they do some something. <laughs> I typically record at night when it's a little bit quieter. Uh, why am I telling you this? Because I'm going to show you some sound samples from this microphone. Yeah, I want to make sure that I'm transparent with you that so that you know you'll be hearing from this microphone exactly as it comes out of the box. There's no treatment in the room and no post-production effects. Right, how much does it cost? Well, now I think this is a great find for the price. As you've seen in the unbox, you, you get the package with the mic, the boom arm, you've got this, this kind of the windscreen, you've got this, this, this pop filter as well for approximately all of that for approximately 60 pounds on Amazon. It feels actually extremely good value for money considering some boom arms alone can cost you more than that. So yes, it's, it's a steal at 60 pounds you get all, all this kit, so. So right, this setup. This was a breeze to set up. You know, it comes with everything you need in the box to get started. Most higher end microphones comes with nothing apart from the microphone. So you have to, you'll end up buying loads of accessories. You had a USB A cable, but there's no issue as, as that's the bit that connects to, to the microphone itself. It just kind of took me back a few years to uh, how printers used to come with those cables. I run a MacBook Pro and I use a Focusrite Scarlett 4i4 USB interface. But to be honest with you, I also plugged that straight into my USB port on the Mac. It was pretty much plug and play. No need to, you know, special software or, or major change in my settings. Very, you know, straightforward. The computer picked it up straight away. 
Right, let's talk about some of the main features in this microphone. Now, a nice feature that, that they actually publicize a lot about is the zero latency monitor function. Now, so this means you can plug in some headphones, like a monitor headphone or just standard headphones, like I do, and you can hear your sound as you are speaking. So if you're looking to start a podcast recording, for example, this feature, you're gonna need it. It's very, very important in, in podcast recording. So that's a great feature for me. The other one is background noise. It's not a feature, it's just something that surprised me a lot. For a mic that's at the kind of the budget end of the spectrum, the background noise was, was very low. And I, I'm, I'm thinking extremely low. It's there if you really pay attention to it, I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's definitely there, but if you really want to, it would be quite easy to remove it in post-production, but to be honest with you, as, as you'll be able to hear in a minute, it's pretty damn good. <laughs> you, don't, you don't get a lot of background noise. In my room, as I said, there's not a lot of treatment. I don't have any fans, uh, don't have any kind of loads of, of noise here. I do have other microphones and, and, and I, I struggle even on the high end uh, of the microphones to, to remove background noise. So it's actually quite good for something at, at the budget uh, end of the spectrum. What about recording videos? Well, this is very much my main usage for something like this to, for YouTube. Typically I have a shotgun mic plugged into the camera and just so you have an idea, this next section I'll record now, it will be using the Sudotac USB microphone. Right guys, so just to remind you again that my room is not treated at all in any way. I have carpet floors which help a little bit but that's about it. It's a box standard downstairs office. Uh, with lots of plaster walls. I don't have any kind of, you know, no bass traps or sound panels. I lie, I, I have some of these guys, <laughs> you no know, cheap and cheerful. As I said, I'm not sure they make any difference whatsoever, but I try a little bit. Uh, and that's, you know, that's kind of the minimum I can do um, until I'm able to, to have a proper studio. But so yeah, so, so, so that's that's all I've got, as you can see. It's very standard, pretty much what everyone else would, would do if they're only just starting. And I'm also speaking near my desk, which is pretty bare, so lots of sound bouncing all over the place, off the walls, off the ceiling, off the desk itself. So considering all of that, actually, I'm going to try and use the, the monitor f feature of this. I should say the zero latency monitor feature. Oh, wow. that That's pretty good. I haven't tried that before. Do you know what? This is pretty good considering all of that, you know, my room set up and how much this costs. As you can hear, the quality is actually fairly, fairly decent. I'm, I'm impressed. I mean, these guys seem to have done a really good job coming up with something that's affordable. At the same time, you know, it's a package that does a good job in you know what? What for most people um, uh, who are looking to to start their the the streaming and their their kind of maybe kind of streaming games, uh, or your your first YouTube channels and your kind of YouTube videos. This uh, this is this is not bad at all. You know, I, you don't need to spend a lot of money in in microphone gear um, to if you want if you're looking to start and if you've got a tight budget. This is this is a good this place to start. I wish. I wish I'd seen it uh, when I was, uh, you know, a few few weeks ago when I was looking for a microphone and it ended up spending quite a lot of money on a high-end microphone. And yeah, I should have found this, guys. So uh, yeah, pretty good. Yeah, if you're in the same space and if, you, if you're looking to start a podcast or start a new YouTube channel, this is a definitely, I strongly recommend you look at Sudotac because it, it provides you the basic features um, at decent enough quality to get you started. Um, let me just try one of the other features they've got here, which is the mute option. So let's see. So that worked as well. Uh, just a button to, to mute. You might find that useful if you're streaming. And what else have you got here? I mean, in terms of the, of the device itself, this, you can you can put one of these things on. Don't think it will. Don't think you'll add a lot of difference um, because at the moment I'm recording and it's nearly midnight. <laughs> it's quite quiet anyway. 
uh, in fact let's try and hear the uh, kind of the, the noise level of the microphone if there's no no, no one else speaking I mean, it's there. You can you can hear it's there, but actually, it, it's impressive. I mean, it's very very low, um, and you know, in comparison to, uh, to to other microphones, uh, for for how much you paid, it, you can definitely hear it. It's definitely there's there's definitely a, a background noise in there, but actually, it's very low. You wouldn't notice it in, in most situations, like online streaming and it is a great place to start actually and just using myself as an example I'd, I'd you know recommend you also look at ways to treating the room before you spend a lot of money on microphones so you know you can use cushions and curtains and um, things like that you know kind of uh, you can even upgrade to to wall and ceiling panels before you invest in, in the microphone in a high-end microphone because you know to be honest to a certain level uh, the microphone quality will only go so far in in improving your sound. If you have a lot of background noise coming into the room, like I've got, you know, front uh, front office here that, that that is facing the street, and if there's kids playing or cars driving by, you, you hear all of that, which is why I record a night. So, yeah, uh, you might end up having to spend a lot of time and effort in post production removing that noise and removing that echo when you could actually spend more money in treating the room instead, you know, instead of using these things, uh, but do proper uh, sound paneling and, and ceiling paneling. So, and for podcast, this would be, this would be perfect, actually. I mean, I can, I can hear myself and I can see that this, this would be a good a podcast microphone because it's, yeah, it's got that, that, you know, it's a cardioid microphone. So you've got to always be speaking quite closely to, to the microphone because of the proximity effect yeah no it sounds really good for 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 how much it costs uh it's it's a great device i mean it comes with everything you need the pop filter uh the the boom arm and yeah and it's plug and play i'm, I'm using a mac but it's plugged straight into i don't know i can't show you here but it's plugged straight into my usb port if it was a pc i could have straight you know plug straight into the usb port as well so yeah it's pretty good i mean i, I do have a, a focus right scarlet 4i4 but i didn't need to use that at all i just plugged it straight into my my kind of usb port so yeah very um, very impressed uh, let's go back to the video in fact let's let's end the video here i mean uh, it's pretty good for me I, i'm not really <laughs> gonna change the, to to my usual microphone let's just let's just finish it here uh, if you want to buy this guy i've got the links in the description guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did hit that like button, hit the subscribe button as well. Help, help me out, kind of build more content for you. You know, it's right there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that really helps me out. It tells YouTube that my content is helping you out. So tell your friends and family. <laughs> That's right. All right, guys, see you in the next one. Loads of giveaways coming in. I'm, I'm nearing 100 subscribers and there will be a giveaway when I hit 100. And there's more. Check my other videos for more giveaways. And if you like my stuff, do subscribe. If you don't, that's fine as well. There's still giveaways for you. All right, cheers, thank you. That didn't sound good. <laughs> Funny, yeah, that's better. <laughs>